Ah, you know what? It just hit me. You know how they say every guy has three hot streaks with the ladies in his life? This is your third. Hot streaks? When the hell were the other two? When we were kids, you're the most popular with the girls. <laughs> I don't remember that. The second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. Oh, crap, man. She's probably gonna kill me. That's what you're all scared about. As long as she doesn't find out, you're safe, right? Just act like it never happened. I'm not like you. I can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Married life sucks, man. You really want to go through the same shit I have. I'm not like you. I don't want to sleep around. I just want life to stay the same. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. If you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Well, no shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. <sighs> well, if you're gonna ditch the new girl, hook me up. She's cute, right? You got a picture of her? Nice. No, I don't have her pic. She's not your type, anyway. Come on, how do you know that? Because she's my type. Oh. <laughs> I'm so fucked. Hey, have you heard the rumor about the dream where you're falling? Huh? Who cares? Come on, if you fall and die in the dream, you'll die in real life. My friend's boyfriend almost died. Isn't that scary? Huh? How do you know? Were you able to see his dream? Hey, you all right, man? You don't look so hot. Uh, I guess I didn't really get much sleep last night. Obviously. Anyway, you're way too freaked out over a one-night stand. Hey, you paying attention? Listen, man. saw the girl. Oh, really? I figured one of you guys told her to sit with me. Eh, if this girl was cute, you'd definitely remember. You know, I gotta say, because of you jerks, I never get a chance to date anyone. If I was a ladies man, I wouldn't be here every night with you guys. Anyway, you dig the older chicks, don't you? Yeah, I want a woman who's, you know, mature, stern, he has a nice pair of heels. Whoa, man. I like that creepy guy in horror movies who tries too hard to be noticed. Shut up! I'm not like that! What's wrong with, you know, having some adult fun with someone older than I am? Hmm. So, did I hear someone call for me? Oh, hey, Erica! I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. Whoa, Erica. Okay, enough of that. So have you guys heard about the woman's wrath? They say it targets cheating men and kills them, or not. Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. Cheating is pathetic. I agree with Toby. Pathetic. What are you calling pathetic? Shut up and eat your peanuts. Uh, my eye! Huh? What? You're cheating! Weren't you talking about marriage? Why don't you say it louder? Seriously, stop yelling about cheating and shit. I think someone on Mars didn't quite hear you. Oh, that's low, Vincent. Lowest of the low. Don't call me that. Now you know. Just leave me alone. Well, well, come on, tell me about this girl. Oh, God. Apparently, she's destiny level cute. Cut that shit out. Are you kidding? Finding your soulmate is awesome. I'm totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. Dude, we know the drill. 
Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> yeah, right. Yo, Erica, another round over here. Coming right up! You're in trouble, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. Ha ha ha, shut up. I'm done fooling around. the circle button to get up from your seat and walk around the bar. If you press start to open the menu, you can see hints on how to spend your time at the bar. You can change the difficulty of the nightmare stages from the config screen. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Oh, uh, sorry for staring. <laughs> Please sit. Please sit. Ever heard this story before? The man who climbs the highest mountain gets his every wish granted. What's that? It said a man climbed that mountain 300 years ago and was given a fortune. It said a man climbed that mountain 700 years ago and was given the world. A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do it as he pleases. Is this a fairy tale or something? These are true stories. The story of Rapunzel is based on this true story. A prince who was able to climb a very tall tower gained his princess. Now, what will you gain? Huh? Will you become the man of legend? I wonder if Mr. Morgan is coming tonight. I wonder if I can see Mr. Morgan tomorrow. While you're in the bar, you will sometimes receive text messages on your phone. Push the triangle button to look at your phone. background music in the bar. Acquiring trophies will earn you more songs. Try doing lots of challenging things to earn them. talk to you about their worries. Encourage them from time to time. Listen, Archie, you've got to become a better man. I don't know how you're ranking it, but I'm not desperate to climb the social ladder. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like Ivy, always climbing. Then let me introduce you. This is Tom, and this is Archie. Are you on your way home from the office, or not? You're not wearing a suit. Suit? Oh, I don't have that kind of job. That's a shame. You're not one of our customers, then. What do you mean? We make business suits. Haven't you ever heard of Bantam suits? Have you heard the jingle? You'll be the cock of a walk in a Bantam. Oh, you're from Catholic's company. Hey, I think I've heard your voice before. Huh? Have we met? I don't remember anything. Todd's a hard guy to forget. His hair looks like a rooster, doesn't he? That's enough cockadoodle out of you. Oh, uh... Wow, you're sharp. You got me. Ah... Uh, nah...
This customer is a journalist. He seems to be obsessing over a certain legend lately. The legend? I was originally looking into these suspicious deaths that have been happening lately. I'm Justin, by the way. Hmm. Have I met you somewhere before? Think of it. Um, I'm sure I've seen you before. Oh, sorry. We were talking about the legend. Anyway, in my research, I found records indicating that similar cases occurred in 100-year cycles. Many men died last time as well. It's the truth. Well, wow. it'll be 100 years, huh? I found a strange variation on this legend going around, too. Hmm? There's a man who survives it. Survives the dreams? Very, very rarely. There's a man who is cursed but doesn't die. Isn't that interesting? It's said that the survivor is granted one wish. If he wished for eternal youth, he might still be around. <laughs> it's like a magic lamp. Well, if this is what you're coming up with, you have a wish in mind for yourself? Mm, to live forever? Is that too typical? Me? I'd wish for something different. Like what? I may wish to change the past and make someone kill me. Oh, uh, <laughs> I wonder what I'd wish for. You got me. machine to play a video game. The rules are the same as the nightmare stages, however, there is no time limit, but you do have a limited number of moves. If you use up all your moves, you will get a game over, so take your time in solving the puzzle. If you can't beat the nightmare stage, you might be able to find new skills here. I hear this game is surprisingly deep, too. Let's do this!
this the end of the line? your intoxication level up to three times. How drunk Vincent gets corresponds to how fast he moves that night in his nightmare. That thing about men who cheat being cursed? Apparently it's related to those mysterious deaths. You mean like how Paul died? Yeah, or it is. This is getting called the woman's wrath. <laughs> Sounds like something Erica would like to have. Paul's been here a few times, right? Yeah. He was a classmate of ours back in high school. I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault, man. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> never cheated in my life before. You and Catherine have been together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just want to know for reference. <laughs> it wasn't anything special. It was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself, right? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed, after all. Hey, stop that. Stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. <laughs> Seriously. You got mail. said in your text? Yeah, I think saying it over the phone would be the same thing. Okay, so? Well... Catherine? It's okay. I think I should tell you face to face. Huh? Come see me tomorrow, okay? Good night. I just changed jobs. I don't have any cash. I can't marry her like this. Fuck! <sighs> I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. The name Rum and Cola is actually a nickname. Do you know the real name of this drink? It's called the Cuba Libre. The rum called for in this drink represents Cuba. This is a cocktail which mixed the national specialties of Cuba and the United States as a celebration of Cuba's independence. Cuba Libre means free Cuba. It tastes differently when you know the history. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty already? Yo, Erica, I got an order. Take your order. Whiskey. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Mm, okay. Here you go. So how's work? Doing well? Hey, come on. I came here to forget about that shit. Okay, let's talk about that curse. Never mind. If you're done bringing us drinks, then scram. <sighs> you're so cold.
seriously, okay, man? They say men who cheat get cursed. Curse? That's so stupid, I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> the timing's too good. Still, I can't believe you cheated. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, good luck keeping it a secret. That or beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. Oof. <sighs> Cheating, huh? It's not like I can just apologize for it and everything will be fine. about Catherine? Uh, of course, but I feel like I wasn't even involved with it. Well, you were. I hate to be so confrontational, but two men who cheat are cursed. If that rumor is real, what are you gonna do? Nothing, because it's not real. You seem to know recently. It's nothing but stories about those deaths. He said that there are several people who died in the same fashion. Erica says that people believe it's a curse given when a woman is scorned by an unfaithful man. A grown man talking about curses? Just ignore Erica. A woman's guess is much more accurate than a man's certainty. To pinch a phrase from a certain someone. You don't think it applies to Erica? Then there's nothing to worry about. Erica's guesses are never on target. By the way, you look a bit glum. Hey boss, you uh, you ever cheated on someone? My, my, my. It's not like that. It was an unintentional event. Unintentional? Are you sure about that? To tell you the truth, I can't really remember. Did you have too much to drink? Oh my. Besides, I heard you were wearing those shades to hide from an ex-girlfriend. To a man, it may be a one-night stand, but to a woman, it is the beginning of a lifetime. And to borrow a lot from a certain someone. Anyway, it is a strange rumor. Both of us should be careful. You got me. You'll visit the torture chamber. Don't forget your boxers. Deaths. I can't 
can't believe that Paul's dead. That is all the information we have up to this point. We'll revisit our top story after the local weather, in the event that there are any updates to the situation. Have you played that Rapunzel game over there? Some stages are supposed to be impossible, but they're a cinch if you've got technique. I think I'm pretty good at coming up with techniques. Time will slowly pass each time you sit and talk to people. Have fun with the other bar patrons. Over time, the people and the conversation topics will change. You can go home at any time from the door in the front. I like my women like I like my blankets. Replaced by a maid every morning. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, I think I'll go home for today. My head hurts. This is sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey, now that you've emptied your glass. Do you know what malt means? It can often be seen on alcohol labels. Malt refers to malted barley, a key ingredient. Yet, if it is labeled as malt whiskey, it must also be scotch. Single malt means that the malts used come from the same distillery. Malt whiskey can vary wildly in taste, depending on how it's made. So, there are many different brands. And that was the trivia for tonight. Tea already? Are you all right? I think Catherine started dating you because she just couldn't leave you alone. You're stupid in all the right ways. It tickles her maternal instincts. A dominant, independent personality like hers is usually attracted to mind like yours. Is that the way it is? I gotta go take a leak. Hey, uh, is it true Orlando's divorced? Huh? You didn't know? He got married while he was pretty young. He lost a lot of money in some scam, and his wife left him. He pretends not to mind, but I think it still gets to him sometimes. Even when his wife calls him, he... Huh? huh? What do you mean? Um, well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Wow, is it that late already? said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this, too? Whatever. Still, she really rags on you, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self-conceit. Uh, to wrangle the words of a certain someone. But tell me, do I look vain or otherwise untoward? I don't know, but in Erica's case, it's a bit different. Anyway, let's both avoid ending up cursed and dead. Uh, it's late. Anyway, I can't hurt her anymore. Hey. Hey, Vincent. We're all heading home. How about you? Uh, well, I think I'll stay and drink a little more. How long are you going to be drinking there? <laughs> Hurry up and come. Did, it, did I just hear something? Hey, come here. Wait, that voice. Why are you here? So if I come here at this time of night, I can see you. Are 
you going home? I have something to do. Uh, oh. Well, I'm glad I got to see you tonight. Be careful on your way home.